One of the advantages of using a CMS system like Kentico CMS is the ability to easily create new websites. Kentico CMS provides this capability in the new site wizard that enables the creation of a new website using either a pre-built or custom template. In this video, we will create a new e-commerce portal site based on the built-in e-commerce starter site. All system administration is done through CMS Site Manager. Once we log in, CMS Site Manager provides a single interface for you to be able to see all running sites on your system currently. I'm currently running using the built-in Visual Studio web server, so it is important when creating new sites using the, the built-in Visual Studio web server that you stop your existing site because we're going to be using our local host, our 127 domain, and we're going to need to reuse that. So I'm going to stop my existing site, and once this is stopped, let's go ahead and create our new site. We do this by selecting the new site wizard. Let's go ahead and use an existing website template. We're going to select next. Once this is done, you can see that I have a set of existing templates that I can, that I can choose from. Obviously, things like the corporate site are the samples that are built in. We also have an e-commerce site, which I'm going to go ahead and select. Once I select it, I'm going to select Next. And you'll see that I have a couple of choices. I'm going to leave these default settings. I'm going to select Next. I can go ahead and import objects. This gives me the ability to bring in existing objects or things from another site. I'm going to leave these defaults and select Next. And as you can see, it's going ahead and it's importing any objects, which will give me the ability of bringing in things that I might have from my corporate site or other existing sites. Now that you can see, we've created our new website and we have the ability to go in and we can look at our website. We want to go ahead and we can edit any existing settings which gives us the ability to do things like change any default names, look at any domain aliases, bring in any existing cultures. If we go back to our main site page, you can see that my e-commerce site is currently running. I can either edit content, I can open the live site, and as you can see, we've gone ahead and built our basic starter site. This concludes our demonstration.